Donald Trump is just two weeks away from the White House, but the president-elect is still far from ease with official Washington. This week, Mr. Trump has seemingly set himself against legislators in both the Republican and the Democratic parties, not to mention intelligence agencies, by continuing to pour scorn on findings that top Russian officials were behind cyber hacks on the Democrats and the Clinton campaign. I'm joined by David Lynch, FT Washington correspondent, who's been covering this issue. David, how out of the ordinary is this seeming tension between the new president, the intelligence agencies, and Capitol Hill? Well, it's really quite extraordinary. I would say uh, virtually unprecedented. Uh, yesterday, we had a hearing uh, before the Senate Armed Services Committee uh, where Jim Clapper, the Director of National Intelligence, said flatly that the intelligence agencies are, are more resolute, in his word, uh, in their conclusion that Russia hacked into the Democratic computers uh, during the campaign than they were in October. There seems to be no question about this uh, in the minds of top intelligence officials, but they uh, as yet have not been able to persuade the president-elect. And what sort of things has Mr. Trump been saying? How skeptical is he really of the idea that it was Russia that was seeking to help his election campaign and hurt Hillary Clinton's? Yeah, he's really been uh, sending out a series of tweets all week, uh, effectively taking the side of Julian Assange, the head of WikiLeaks, which, uh, which distributed the uh, hacked emails. Uh, and he's, he's really sided with Assange uh, over uh, the U.S. intelligence community. He's cast doubt on the findings. He's uh, sent out tweets with the word intelligence in quotation marks, as if to suggest it's really not that. Uh, he's suggested at various times that uh, rather than the Russian government, the hack could have been orchestrated by either a 14-year-old somewhere or a 400-pound man sitting in a basement in New Jersey. It really is an extraordinary dispute between an incoming president and uh, the top spies of the country. Now, the U.S. famously has a huge budget for intelligence, something like $80 billion a year. You have 17 or 18 intelligence agencies. Is there any kind of precedent for this kind of rift between the president and the intelligence agencies? Yeah. I, you know, it's, it's normal to have some skepticism. Some of the witnesses said yesterday that they're accustomed to presidents hearing them out and then saying, you know what, you, you haven't made the case. I don't see it that way. Uh, and back in the 80s, in fact, uh, uh, President Bush set up a, a Team B, as it was called at the time, to take a, a different look at uh, the CIA's then assessments of Soviet military power. Uh, but what really is extraordinary and what I think is going to have lasting uh, repercussions is for the president-elect to disparage and openly undermine and scoff at uh, the professionalism and the conclusions of the people who are paid to protect the country. Now, I guess we look at the longer term, and obviously intelligence reports on issues like North Korea, its nuclear capacity, and indeed Russia's role itself, are enormously important in shaping U.S. policy. Is that going to be less the case, you think? I mean, are we likely to see a diminished CIA? Are we likely to see a diminished director of national intelligence, the role that Mr. Clapper has at the moment? Well, it, it's quite possible that you'll see some changes. There have been reports uh, that uh, President-elect Trump is considering a reorganization of the intelligence community that would shrink the role of the Director of National Intelligence, which was a position created in the wake of the 9-11 attacks. So it, it's possible you'll see changes down the line, but, but this is an, a, an important point that uh, some of the senators flagged yesterday. At some point, uh, as president, Mr. Trump is, is going to have to go before the country and say we see North Korea or Iran or another adversary uh, about to take uh, hostile action against us and we need to respond and we know this is happening based on what our intelligence officials are reporting. And if he so undermines the standing of the intelligence community that the public doubts its conclusions, that's ultimately going to be a problem for him as president. David Lynch, Washington correspondent, that's sobering stuff. Thank you very much indeed.